gorgeous. Let's see if he flies. For a control test. In three, two, one, fire. <laughs> Perfect. The heavier rig has Buster flying a slightly shorter 23 feet. But will the explosion fling him further? Okay, so here's the thing. The reason why I think Buster hasn't jumped much further so far is because while the shockwave moves very quickly, it only moves a relatively small amount of air, a layer perhaps 12 inches thick. And that's not enough force to push him any further. Now, this rig has the advantage of having a lot of surface area to catch a shockwave. But unfortunately, it adds a lot of weight. And so the net result, I think, is that he's not going to go much further. Well, with 100 pounds of ANFO set to detonate, will that extra surface area finally get Buster surfing the shockwave? All right, this is the final experiment for riding a shockwave, this time with the sail. Three, two, one, firing. Wow, I never get tired of that. I can't tell what happens. The cannon triggered. The ANFO went off, and it seems as though the shockwave did, in fact, give Buster a boost. But did he travel any further? Five feet? I can't wait to see if it worked. Ten feet. Fifteen feet. Twenty feet. Twenty-three feet. What? He didn't go any further at all. That was the same as the control test. Okay, we gave it everything we got, and we still didn't get that Hollywood-style jump and then just blow up. All right, well, I guess it's busted. I'm a little disappointed in Hollywood. All right, busted. Busted. Again. And that was so cool to watch him jump through the air and the explosion going off. Yeah, you know what? Being an action hero is a tough job. why we did what we did and why we didn't do what we didn't? Go to discovery.com slash mythbustersaftershow and check it out.